Bay or possibly Watson as well that, I mean, they, they might go for the big rig and hope to get not get caught, but if they do, it would be other minions that would be um, thrown to the fire. But well, we know Marco like Rubio, he is he's the stereotypical uh, poster child for the sick moment that will be entertaining for years to <laughs> yes, anybody who likes politics. Yeah. And something to just <laughs> prove and to point out that they are robotic, they've got their canned answers, yeah. uh, they're puppets. Yeah. And it's it's yeah. also surprising how with the media, with social media, um, and the, being able to play that back, people being able to voice their opinions on Twitter and live time, uh, things like that, you're seeing sort of the, the veil May, a mainstream people are really seeing this veil being pulled back, not just those of yeah. us who have already kind of had it pulled back a little bit. Yeah, of course, it's, it's being able to transcend and get around the eyewash media, but also the traditional way that uh, people communicate with uh, voters through television ads, that is just not on the table this time. Uh, Donald Trump is able to go directly to people with Twitter, uh, can completely go around the gatekeepers that get paid so much money. Jeb Bush has blown through over $100 million worth of Super PAC money on TV ads, and it has absolutely done nothing for him in the last uh, several uh, elections in Iowa, so that on the GOP side, uh, Iowa is not really a very good predictor. Right, and it's interesting we're seeing Bush rising up from the ashes. Yeah, he's course, in third place, and he's going to make a big deal of that, but he's only got 12%, <laughs> and he's spent a lot of money. This guy has spent over $100 million dollars. And the best he can show for it is 12% in New Hampshire, third place. Bad banks, don't you do that again. <laughs> so she said, I marched is, in there. That is the fight we're taking to the country. What is the best? Uh, he and Rubio were going to be fighting it out for second place. Uh, I don't think he gave as much uh, credit to Kasich there. Mm -hmm. And so he was running a lot of ads attacking Rubio. What did he attack Rubio on? He attacked Rubio by saying, look, he's wearing boots that have a little bit too high of a heel on it. I mean, so incredibly petty. And playing this music soundtrack, these boots are made for walking to win Iowa. Right. And that's what happened with Huckabee. That's what happened with Santorum. And so if you get a few people uh, that are going to be these kingmakers telling everybody, this guy is the Christian candidate, he's going to win in Iowa, but he's not necessarily going to win anywhere else based on that kind of demographic. So it really is not a good predictor of who the nominee is. Uh, New Hampshire has been much more... Uh, Accurate in that for for the GOP. Absolutely. Yeah, if I may add, uh, I mean, Ted Cruz, he won the evangelicals, but think about.